right y'all so before we get started i just wanted to tell y'all before y'all even start talking y'all probably like girl what is going on with your hair i just installed this wig um in the morning i'm gonna fix the baby hairs because i just kind of got them up here and i just they're not the base like they all i don't know they're not the base but i just installed this hair so i'm just showing you how to do my flexi where i said um i was just gonna do crimps i'm sorry about that anyways as i was saying i was just gonna do crimps but for the sake of this video and i kind of want some curls i'm gonna do the flexi rise for y'all that's what we finna do so yeah if you want to see how i do it then just keep watching be sure to like comment and subscribe if you like what you're seeing and you want to see more of me you can go ahead and click that subscribe button because it can affect this and effect and if you're not with it you need to get with it okay so anyways some things that you're gonna need before i get started are flexi rise now i have this big container of them in all different sizes you're gonna need flexi rise um but today we are going to be using um we're gonna be using these these sizes i ordered them off amazon so i can't tell y'all the exact um the exact sizes of the flexi rise that i'm gonna be using but it's like different sizes in here and then i'm gonna show y'all the size we gonna be using so we're not gonna be using none of the big ones like you see it's a size difference in these so we're gonna be using the smaller ones um these smaller ones and the yellow is bigger than the orange but the smaller ones we're gonna be using the smaller ones today so um i'll link down below the set that i got if y'all want to get the exact ones but if not just get this size i don't know how to so let me get a straighter one but yeah this size yep these are the sizes we're gonna be using today so yeah you're gonna need flexi rise and then you're gonna need um some type of clips any type of clips to clip up your hair and then you're gonna need a curling wand or a curling iron or anything that you would like to use to make your curl before you know so yeah, that's what you're gonna need. Um, I'm actually gonna turn this on. I was not even plugged up. Oh, it is plugged up, yeah. So I'm gonna turn this on. So yeah, that's um, all you're gonna need. Now, as far as the install, I can do a video on how to install here if y'all want me to. Um, and actually do my edges in that one because I'm gonna brush these out in the morning. They're gonna be kind of fluffy. So I'm not really too much worried about my edges um because the curl is gone you know so yeah you just want to brush it out make sure you have everything all brushed out so then after you do that you are going to section it off and i section mine off in four sections you can do your sections however you would like so i'm just clipping it up and then i'm gonna clip this up so what you want to do is take your piece and you want to do small sections just put this up like that you want to do small sections so what i do is take my got to be spray spray it down take my comb i comb it through make my one curler. Um, you want to take it and you want to make sure that your um like that is straight and evened out when you're wrapping it. And I'm gonna show you why in just a second. And you can just kind of. Mm 
And you want to hold it for just a second. So, as you can see, you get a curl like this. So, what you're going to do is take that same curl and brush it out too much. And you're going to take it and wrap it around the flexi rod just like that. Um, take that in. And you want to make sure that you have that end wrapped really good. And then you just want to wrap it up just like how it was just wrapped. And then just tie it up like that. And we're just going to repeat this process. Um, I'm just going to speed it up um, so I can show y'all what I'm doing and I'm not just sitting here and it's taking forever so I'm going to speed it up for y'all. you should be looking like after you put all of them in. What I do is take my got to be spread and I just go in and spread all of them in really good. And so for this part, I'm going to show y'all. So you're going to need a scarf, a edge, like lace, um, whatever you use to tie down your lace at night. I'm going to use in a big part. So now we put that makeup on and it's blending in. Right. We're gonna take our got to be spray. And just go in with that. On the edges. Now this is what's really gonna give it a good blend. Like as you can see, it's already looking like scalp. And we're gonna take this. And put that over it and just tie it up like 
liked it. Now, our hair is all set and then we can just take a bonnet. I'm thinking this cheetah print one should be good. Yeah, it's bigger. And then you just wanna put all of your hair in that bonnet just like that. And you might look crazy for the night. But in the morning, you gonna be looking like a baby, okay? So this is what this is what you should have. This is what you should have. You gonna go to sleep looking like somebody granny. I'm looking like granny can over here, but in the morning, it's all gonna be worth it. And I'm gonna show y'all this when I wake up. So yeah, we can take them down everything. So yeah, I'll see y'all. Um, when I wake up in the morning and I'll take these down and show y'all how to comb them out and everything and just show y'all the final look so hey y'all so it is now morning time I really need some lip gloss on my lips oh my god my lips looking so dry it is the morning um and I've had these in for a good how many hours did I have these and I went I did these I don't know, maybe seven, eight hours. I don't know. That's about how much sleep I got. Um, so we're gonna be taking these down. So, you know, first thing you wanna do is pull your bonnet off. And you're just gonna have your flexi rise. Then you wanna go ahead and pull this scarf off. I mean, you could do this less, but I just like to see what I'm working with. Now my edges look crazy, but I'm gonna be showing y'all what to do, so. Okay, I'm back, y'all. So as I was saying, you're going to need an edge brush, um, a comb with fine teeth, and then your mousse. And the first thing we're going to do is just comb these edges back out. And honestly, you don't need your mousse unless you like them to be pressed down on your head. But if you like the edges that's kind of messy, then you do not need any mousse. So what we're going to do is take a little mousse. Maybe this one is hanging. We're just going to try to sit that up there. But okay. Take a little mousse. Put that all on your edges. Like so. Okay, so we kind of got them back in place. You can just play with them, see how you actually want them or whatever. Okay. So we got that, and then we're just going to start by taking down our flexi rods. I'm going to show you this one since it's hanging because it's really bothering me. So you just want to roll it the opposite way or whatever, you know, and have your curl. And you want to just go ahead and do that to all of them. So, yeah. the flexi rise taken out and it's giving Shirley Temple know what I'm saying giving very much Jerry curl no what I'm saying and now we're done with the style period no I'm just playing so we have our curls as you can see they are really tight curls and we're going to be separating them just a little bit and you're going to need your hot comb I'm waiting for mine to get hot um, so that I can go ahead and try to make that flat. I'm gonna need your wax stick and got to be got to be spray to be exact. Some any type of hairspray really, but 
yeah so we're just going to be um separating these just a little bit you don't want to separate it too much but just enough to where you can you know What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our rag stick and we're just gonna put that all on here like that and put it on here as well. Now with that, we're gonna take our hot glue. I'm just extra, so don't mind me, but. Okay, so I just had to split that curl at the bottom, so that's why it's kind of looking a little loose. But yeah, you just want to continue to uh, hot comb it and make sure it's getting flat to your head. And then I take me some mousse and put that. Take my comb and kind of spread that out with that. And then what we're going to do is take some hairspray. Uh, and then I'll grab my empty one. It's really good to have it here. But yeah, you're just spraying the curls to keep them in place. My wide tooth comb, next best thing is a pick. But I just go through here and just, if you can see what I'm doing, just kind of fluffing it out just a little bit. I'll show y'all the back. Okay, so this is what we're looking like right about now. And I'm gonna leave it like this just because you don't wanna fluff it out too much. Um, because then your curls are gonna fall faster. So I just fluffed them out just enough. Real cute, you know what I'm saying? Baddie all day, every day. I did these curls for my birthday photo shoot. I will um I kind of put clips in there. I mean, you can go see my birthday vlog if you would like to see that. And they were really cute for the shoot. So I wanted to do them again because I really like them. And yeah, they're really cute. Let me stand up for y'all so y'all can actually see. Yeah, they're pretty cute. You know, you know, don't play with me. So yeah, that's, um basically how to do these curls they do fall but they last longer than just curling your hair and walking out the house um just because they've been in longer been in all night you know so they're gonna last longer just a little longer um but of course every hair is gonna fall so they should last you all day actually but i i be doing too much so i don't know but they should definitely last you all day I don't think these curls are going to be lasting you two weeks and everything else because it is straight hair. Well, this is body wave hair, so it is going to eventually fall back into that body wave state. But then you can just go ahead and do this. Like If you do this every night, you should be good. You're going to wake up with some bomb curls like this. Don't play with me. Don't play. Like, look at that. Look at that. Who do you know? Who you know? For real. Who you know? So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video out. And if you enjoyed it, you know, subscribe to me because the Ken Effect is in effect. And if you're not with it, you need to get with it. If you like what you see and you want to be a part of the team, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button because, yeah, I'll have more content for y'all. Um, if there's anything else that you would like to see from me, um, any suggestions, anything like that, be sure to put that down in the comments below. Um... I have a lot of videos coming for y'all. Um, so just, you know, stay tuned for all of that. 
bro it's it's sad it's october and i'm ready for vlogmas i'm so ready for christmas period but yeah so be sure to like comment and subscribe give this video a thumbs up and i will talk to y'all later because i'm about to head to school so yeah